love, love, love grocery shopping. Sean and I basically emptied out our entire fridge and we desperately need groceries now. So I'm gonna go to Walmart. I love, love, love grocery shopping. It just makes me so happy. I get so excited for it. Go to the store, kind of do some snippets of what I get, and then when I come home, do a whole little overview, and that'll be this video. I'm a little out of breath. I look a little bit um, like a wreck because I just got back from the gym not so long ago. Let's go shopping. All right, let's go shopping. All right, let's go get some food. Get our grocery haul on. <laughs> dropped like I don't know feels like 10 degrees since when I went into when I came out it's also raining now heading home to go over everything that I bought hey guys I am back in the kitchen back in the house with all of my groceries lots of groceries to go through but I am so excited um, I'm gonna go ahead and end, unpack everything that way I'm not doing it as I go because it'll be a lot of noise um, and then we'll go ahead and chat about what I got and why I got it and what the menus for the week will consist of you gonna watch me do my grocery haul you gonna watch me film so here is just kind of like an over a quick overview of all the foods laid out from condiments frozen foods snacks veggies um, and fruit my meat and my carbs. So let's get started. While well, Sky is my live audience, right, Sky? You my audience? Okay, let's get started. When requested, I do um, little mini grocery hauls on my Instagram account, Becky and Megan Cheese. I'll go ahead and put down the Instagram account below. Um, if you want to follow me there, that's when I post content much more frequently on a daily basis, and I've done little mini grocery hauls. Um, but I'm so excited to finally do a YouTube video grocery haul because it allowed me to just go a lot more in depth about everything that I get. I went to Walmart and the few things I was not able to get. Of course, I did get some things that also weren't on the list, but I couldn't get my fat-free waffles that I like to get, um, my pita pockets weren't there, and then I also couldn't get, um, chocolate PB2, it's only a few things. So let's go ahead and jump in. I found this gluten-free, dairy-free um, bar that is the oven for the pizza. But uh, I'll be having this for dinner tonight and I'm so excited. I have not been doing dairy, um, so that also makes this grocery haul a little different than what I've gotten in the past. So there's some adjustments to my past grocery hauls. So this is a good one. This is one of them. I have not been able to have any pizzas because they don't have dairy-free cheese. So, excited to try this. Not a staple food, just a treat that I'm excited about. For every meal, I like to have my carbs, my fats, and my protein. Um, so, let's start with carbs. I have been on a potato kick lately. Sean and I have both been just loving potatoes. So, what I'll do, these are just plain red potatoes. I'll cut, cut them up. I'll put them on a baking sheet and I'll put some um, non-stick spray on them and then put some seasoning and pop them in the oven for close to an hour and then we have potatoes for the week. I also like to have bread on hand. Sara Lee Delight 45 calorie bread. So I'll use that for toast, for sandwiches, things like that. I got some Thomas multigrain, apparently I don't know what this is, English muffins. I love having these before workouts. I'll put a little PB2 on them. Macros for one, um, it's one fat, 25 carb, five protein. 
I love that it's very low fat and it's got a decent amount of carbs because I want carbs for my workout. So a little pre-workout snack or just have them with my breakfast on the side if I have eggs or something. I did also get some hamburger buns. Sometimes you just want like, you want to feel like you're eating a burger and you want the bread with it. And I think that is perfectly okay. These buns are, I think are really great macros for it being a potato bun. One and a half fat, 29 carb, five protein. I, I think that's awesome for a hamburger bun. I'm gonna go ahead and have some turkey burgers this week. I also have a black bean veggie burger already in the freezer. Um, and I, you may have saw, seen those on my Instagram page. I've been having them with salad or making like a veggie burger wrap with a lettuce wrap. Um, but there's just nothing, nothing quite like having an, a burger with the hamburger bun. So these turkey burgers are um, butterball, 93% lean, 7% fat. One patty is, Eight fat, zero carbs, if you're looking for low carb, and 22 protein. Very excited for these. Chicken, we buy chicken every weekend and prep it for the week. And we like to marinate it in fat-free Italian. I have never bought this before. It's the um, great value salmon. I'm just all for the cheaper products, which I'm fine with, you guys may feel like this is gross or maybe you think you should be getting all organic do what you do this is what we do and it works for us I always just have at least like one package of deli meat in the fridge in case I just feel like having a sandwich sandwiches are so quick and easy and sometimes you just create a sandwich this is the mesquite smoked turkey breast for breakfast is hard to find or at least I find it hard to find a breakfast meat that's low in fat this turkey sausage bake this turkey sausage um, for three links, which I actually is pretty good for three links, eight fat, two carb, 13 protein. So that's for breakfast. And then I also figured, like I said, because I'm trying to find something low in fat, I saw these turkey sausages. This is probably not meant to be for breakfast, but who cares? Hardwood smoked, 68% less fat. Love having that extra protein, I'm trying to get my protein in, um, in different ways without, you know, always relying on protein powder. I like getting a head of lettuce in case I want to make lettuce wraps or for a salad. Um, I just get iceberg lettuce for that. I do like mainly using spring mix for my salads. I'll just get whatever's on sale, whatever's cheapest. And then I always, always, always get spinach because I have it in every omelet I make pretty much. I can throw it in with vegetables, I can have it as a side with some garlic, I can throw it in smoothies, whatever I want. So spinach is definitely a staple of mine. Bananas. I always have bananas. And the best thing about getting bananas, if I don't eat them fast enough, I just pop them in the freezer and then I put the frozen banana, half a frozen banana in with my smoothies and that's what makes a lot of my smoothies very fluffy. If I do eat them in time. I use bananas in my oatmeal, waffles, I make French toast, just adds that extra carb tomatoes on my omelets, on my salads, iceberg lettuce, super cheap. In case I decide I wanna have some tacos or I wanna make a little bowl of just random stuff and I want some extra veggies in there. It's great for a little extra volume. All right, so these were not on my list. These are reduced fat thin wheat baked crackers. For 16 crackers, it's three fat, 22 carb, two protein. I have some hummus in the fridge, so these will go great with that. You can dip it in pe powdered peanut butter, whatever, or eat them as is. Okay, if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen me post about these many times. Fresh energy uh, date almond rolls. I like to have these around my workouts because they are high in carbs, and I just have that, that sweet tooth. If you know me and you follow me on Instagram, you know all about my sweet tooth. The breakdown for two dates it is 130 calories, three and a half fat, 26 carb, two protein. You can get these at Walmart. I came across these yogurts. Um, they're dairy free, they're by Silk, vanilla flavored. So stinking good. You can use this as like for breakfast, you can use it for post or pre workout snack or dessert at night, like anything, it's so good. One container is three and a half fat, 20 carbs, six protein. I sprinkled on some of this Special K protein cereal, amazing. Macros in this are insane for cereal. Um, one serving, which is three fourths of a cup, is one fat, 19 carbs, 10 protein. This is amazing, you need to buy this if you want cereal, but stay away from it because of the macros like I've been doing for so long. So I sprinkled some of these, 
on top of the yogurt and that was a delicious snack. So you can have it like that. You can eat these dry, which I like to do at night sometimes. I like just pick at them or I put cashew milk and eat it like cereal. I fully recommend buying these. I recently just been obsessing over this granola. It is the maple and pecan. I like to sprinkle some in my oatmeal, on top of my French toast, my waffles, and anything sweet that I have for breakfast. This just adds some extra crunch, some extra sweetness, uh, some extra carbs. For one fourth of a cup, which I don't usually do, usually I don't, which is 30 grams, I usually only use about 10 grams. I'm just sprinkling it all on my breakfast food. So if you go for the full serving, it would be four and a half fat, 22 carb, three protein. But again, I don't, I don't ever use that much. And it lasts me quite a while. So good. My ice cream. Thank goodness for non-dairy ice cream. I already had this Halo Top flavor. It is cinnamon roll, dairy-free, made from coconut milk. Halo Top, amazing. The little cinnamon swirl bites that are in it. So good. This Arctic Zero non-dairy, which I didn't know Arctic Zero had non-dairy. Brownie Blast, so I'm probably gonna try this tonight because like I said, I've already had the cinnamon roll and I know that's amazing. Very curious to see how the Arctic Zero non-dairy is gonna compete with Halo Top. So if you wanna know what I think, follow me on Instagram. We're almost done. All we have left are frozen foods and a few condiments and then we're done. Sometimes I just like to buy frozen blends, frozen foods to just make my life a little easier, especially when it comes to meal prepping. I do love to make bell peppers and onions and mushrooms and grill them up and then have that in containers for the week and I throw that blend into omelets, on salads or the sides of meals. Um, but this is such a great alternative and I don't want to put all that work and honestly it's probably cheaper because bell peppers are really expensive. I've been really wanting pasta lately and I don't know if you've had these before. It is the bird's eye. Fresh frozen vegetables. This pasta is made from vegetables which when the first time I read that I just was, it was mind blowing to me. But, um, I was looking for the plain pasta so that way I could add in whatever sauce I wanted but they didn't have any. Um, if you can have dairy, then they also have amazing options that have like a cheese sauce or an Alfredo sauce. So you can also check out those. But I got the marinara um, pasta, two of those. So if I want a quick meal, I just heat this up, throw on my extra lean ground beef, maybe some spinach and some veggies, and then I have a really yummy bowl of protein, fat, protein, fats, and carbs. Last but not least are the condiments. Pumpkin puree, I put this in my smoothies. I just recently found a recipe of, for little um, donut bites or donut hole bites. Um, there's just a bunch of little recipes that I can add this to. Um, just add some really yummy flavors. So I bought two of those. Always have to have sriracha on hand, always. And we also have fat-free ranch for two tablespoons. It's only 25 calories. Um, zero fat, zero protein, six carbs. So you have some extra carbs to play with. This is really great. And that concludes my grocery haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love making these kinds of videos. If you did like it, leave some love in the comments below and like this video, but more importantly, subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Stay tuned because I will be making and posting a meal prep video. So if you're interested in what I'm gonna do with all this food and how I'm gonna prep it all for the week, definitely subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you.